think that the American electorate was helped by seeing Donald Trump and Joe Biden on the same stage oh. at the same this time? Is, now I know where this is going. The system now has to run cover for Biden and the Democrats because the average person sees what's going on at the border. The average person sees what's going on at the ba ballot box. The average person sees what's going on with blocking bridges and everything else. So now they have to run cover for that old man with dementia. Uh, here's Corinne Jean-Pierre. Uh, she can't answer if uh, old Joe Biden is gonna debate Donald Trump. In 2020, do you think that the American electorate was helped by seeing Donald Trump and Joe Biden on the same stage oh. at the same this time. Is, now I know where this is going. <laughs> at a presidential debate. Was that helpful, do you think, in terms of people making that you decision? Know, that, that's a question for the American people. I can't speak to that from here. I, I can't. Yeah. And, and, the, and now, 2020 was a, a different time. It was yeah. a different time. And looking ahead, uh, to this upcoming election cycle. Do you think it would be helpful to see these two <laughs> candidates who are in a rematch? So slick. <laughs> so slick. Uh, also uh, competing against each other at a president. As the debate. president would say, uh, you can't kid a kidder. Um, <laughs> what I will say is that is a question for the campaign. Uh, they will gladly, I'm sure, gladly take, take that question. Awful smug diversity hire. Look, it is very obvious. They are not gonna have debates. Why, if you were the Democrats, would you put Biden up there so he could break down, not know how to finish the sentence, totally freeze up, ramble completely incoherently? Like, there's just no reason to do it. By the way, I think you can put some of that blame on the doorstep of Donald Trump because by Donald Trump not debating his Republican rivals, you opened up the window for this. So Donald Trump did it and, it and it worked, right? So he did it at a tactical level, right? Like it basically it was he didn't want to debate DeSantis. And he said, well, I'm up by so much, I don't have to do it. And it worked because he became the nominee. But he set the precedent that you don't have to debate. So now Biden will just be like, well, you know, he's on trial and he's an insurrectionist and all those white supremacists and we're just not gonna debate. I'm not, I'm not gonna degrade myself to the, uh, to the point where I have to debate that crazy Nazi Donald Trump. So that's where we're at, which is a damn shame, uh, because if there was ever a time to have an open, honest debate in America, I think this might just be it.